Alright everyone, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use keypads. So these are really easy to make as they only require 25 electronics, 1 cementing paste and 2 metal ingots. Obviously they have to be crafted in a fabricator like all electronic items and uh, they're really useful as they can be used to open or close doors, turn on lamps and even activate turrets. Please bear in mind that I'm currently in version 195 of ARC, so compatible electronics may be added in later um, but obviously I don't have them yet so I don't know. But the setup process will remain the same. So the setup is really simple. All you need is a keypad. You stick that to a wall where it can get powered by an outlet. And then you assign your electronics pin codes. So obviously if you want to turn on three lights at once, you assign those three lights the same pin code. You go over to your keypad, click E, and then you uh, type in the pin code that you set. And then all those three lights are turned on at once. If you want to deactivate something or turn it off, you hold E down and you'll get up the options menu and then you'll see deactivate pins, you just click on that, then enter the pin code again and everything will turn off with that pin code or close. It's worth noting that remote keypads work across different circuits, so you can have multiple generators like I have at my base and any items attached to those different circuits with like the same pin codes will work across them all, so you don't need to worry about connecting everything together. This can come incredibly useful if you find yourself flying to a metal base at night and uh, you want to sort of obviously turn the lights on before you get home so you can see your base more easily. If you do have multiple locations with different generators, you can use different pin codes for different lighting arrangements. However, there is a range limit on keypads. I found that from one end, from the most northerly point of the island to the most southerly point, it is actually impossible to do. I'm not quite sure what the proper range is because I found it's a bit finicky. But as long as you're within a compound or maybe just across a river on like just sort of the next little island across, you'll probably be okay. Setting up doors and diner gates is just as simple as lighting. Simply go up to the door or gate and assign it a pin code. The best thing about this is you don't need the door to even be connected or really that near the circuit for this to work. This is useful if you have a multi-door system and want to make sure that every door within an area is locked before you log off or something. It's also really useful for bases with roosts, as we all know how painful it is to try and close a roost when you're on a flying mount and you end up falling off and, well, yeah, I don't really need to continue that, do I? Finally, you can also configure turrets to be enabled or disabled via pin code. This is useful, obviously, if you're expecting visitors, and you don't really want them just shooting at the your sort of allied tribes. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Drop me a comment if you get stuck, and make sure to check my channel out for other videos like this one. Peace.